friend. <laughs> <laughs> so we've never tried white claw before. I know it's like a phenomenon, this white claw phenomenon. We saw it at the local bodega because we're New Yorkers. <laughs> yeah, you can tell by the brick wall outside our window. Yeah, it's scenic. Uh -huh. People pay for this view. We, think we, pay, it, we pay a premium for this view. Okay. So I chose the flavor of black cherry because I used to drink the black cherry propel during every road trip in my whole life. I like that sense of poetic continuity. I chose ruby grapefruit. Yeah, this is 170 calories, so it must be bad. <laughs> Three grams of carbs, too. That's exciting. Is there any fat? I hope so. <laughs> There's just like a nope. stick of butter in it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh, nice that's, sound. That's the sound of satisfaction. Ooh, nice can opening sound. Okay. Um, wait, so what do you think it's going to taste like? I think it's going to taste like toilet water. I don't know, but it tastes like alcoholic sparkling water. I think it's gonna taste like my armpit sweat. Hmm. It smells like sparkling water. Yeah. I don't like sparkling water. I so. do. So this Let's could see how this goes. could this could um <laughs> this could bias our opinions, but you know. But maybe this will make me like sparkling water. But you water. know, just bear in mind yeah. that we come into this from, you know, different um <laughs> different <laughs> Different, different ideological standpoints. It's an ideology. I don't like sparkling water. I, I like it flat. And it's like we can, we can barely, barely talk because of this disagreement. But sure. let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, okay wait. Cheers. Cheers. Wait. Oh, I like it. I like it too. It's good. This tastes exactly like sparkling water, but... I'm guessing that, you know, with this amount, it'll make me look maybe that much drunk. It tastes sweeter it than sparkling that. water. I like that. I think the part of sparkling water that I don't like is I expect fruit to taste sweet and it never tastes sweet. It just tastes like bitter carbonation. Yeah. This tastes amazing. Mm. Mm. Here's my outfit of the day. Skirt. It's pretty cool shirt well actually this isn't a shirt this is a shirt and this is a sweater and this is hair and this yes. is a face <laughs> and also i want to show you my cat so hi cute. yeah so let's talk more about this white claw or maybe we should just play a drinking game yeah i mean i like beyond that i like it um i don't have a ton to say about it um, I like the the tab. It's mm. a very tall can, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, your tab is really cool. This tab is like not yeah. colorful. But so this has is. a pink tab, and that's cool because you can take it off and wear it around your neck as a pendant. I feel like I smell really bad. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. P U. You know. I don't really get why it's called White Claw. I don't either. It has a pretty short ingredient list, so that's good. Um, we like that. Yeah. It's pure. Collectively. Do I look dead? No. <laughs> I feel like I look waxy and like ashen, like a vampire. Not at all. Don't I? Look at... As if I've been dead for about a week. I don't think so. You look very lively. You look rosy, actually. Well, I mean, I'm looking sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another thing we can say about this is it has really <laughs> a high burp potential. Most beers don't make me burp that loudly, but this <laughs> this carbonated water really did. Yeah. So high burp potential, which in my book is good, but maybe for the people around me that's not good because it makes me a less polite dinner guest. But yeah. I feel like I look dead compared to you. Yeah, so good taste. It feels hydrating like I was also hoping because I've been feeling
feeling dehydrated? For a whole week, I've been totally dehydrated. I wake up and my pee is just like <laughs> orange, <laughs> like hard orange. <laughs> Solid. It's solid. It's jello. I just pee and the water turns into jello and it's weird. We still need to call that plumber, but yeah. that's oh embarrassing. God. When we got back, like I really thought we were gonna have to call the plumber because I was like convinced when he said there was something weird in the toilet that it was gonna be a, like a rat. There like, was because... something weird in the toilet. I know, but then mom said it was nothing. Mom is wrong. Was mom just trying to conceal something from me because yeah. she knew I would freak no, out? There was something on the toilet. It was like lumpy. Was it a rat? Mom seemed to think that it was like a chunk of mold. And she said toilets get like that when you leave for a while. We were gone for like three months. When I came in, I walked up those five flights of stairs and I was like, oh man, I really got to pee. And so I opened the toilet lid and there's this like mass floating in the toilet. And I'm just like... <gasps> And I really had no, I was like, has someone been in here and they like puked in the <laughs> toilet or something? <laughs> is that like, like, what is that? And you said maybe it's a rat. And I was like, please let it just be a rat. <laughs> well, I've heard before that rats can, you know, climb through your pipes in New York. I read that in a book, but. Maybe I read that in the same book, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was your book, but I think, you yeah, know. we but... found it on the side of the road. Yeah, well, I mean, I read that and then I was like, yeah, I believe it. What book was it? But anyway, I, I mean, it seems like the type of thing that would happen in New York. What book is it? Do we have all our books? I don't know. Is it? It's like oh, a singular word. Magical thinking. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Where did we? I think I found Ugh. that. Did I find? Oh, no. Wait. Was that the one? I might have found that on Franklin Avenue in Crown Heights, or was that a different book? I'm not sure. I think, no, I think I got that at the same time I also got Juliet naked by the side of the road. And I was hmm. like, hmm, this person has, like, that person had, like, kind of good taste in books, but they had other books where I was like, mm, I wouldn't want to read that. It's, like, vaguely depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's so British, yeah. you know, vaguely depressing books. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alan de Bouton, uh, Bouton. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He writes really depressing love stories. That's true. Yeah, nothing ever works out very well for them. No, it's always like, I guess I'm just going to settle. The point is, we got that book on the side of the road. And a rat comes out of the toilet. No, it's out of the shower, yeah. bathtub, yeah. the faucet. And doesn't he kill it? Yeah, with like hairspray <laughs> or something. I tried to read that book with <laughs> And <laughs> he was such a slow reader that... <laughs> That I would have to, like, I would be done with a page for, like, a full minute before we could turn the page. Yeah, one thing that's devastating to me is that T*** stole my copy of One Day. I know. And now we're never going to see him again, and so I will never see that book again. We should actually write to his mother and have her send it to him. We should, we should feel like it was really important. It was really, it was actually really important to me, because I got that in Marseille, and it, like, it has a sticker on it that shows it's from a bookstore in Marseille and I've only been to Marseille once and so I feel like I want to keep that book that I got there. I did get two books from Marseille but that is beside the point. It is beside the point. The point is we deserve that book although I don't think the viewers would know anything about this or well I guess we could talk about <laughs> yeah is a bad person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll have to bleep out his name, I think. But. Yeah, the worst person, potentially. Yeah. That either of us have ever known. Yeah. He's also ugly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's... That's, that's fine, you know. Okay, here, here's Seven what you need years. to understand. <laughs> One... Okay, he was someone I dated because he's really good at manipulating people into thinking that he's, like... He know he can anticipate their any mm -hmm. need. He does. He becomes exactly what you want him to be. Yeah. Or I, what he thinks you want him to and be. And it's not but just... But he gets it pretty right. Yeah. Like, and it's, it's not just people he's dating. It's anyone he talks to. So mm -hmm. he's very charming to anyone. Mm -hmm. And he gives you exactly what you want. And mm -hmm. he'll, like, be extremely generous mm -hmm. until, you know... He, you have something he wants, and then he'll hold it over your head. But anyway, he's 
here's what you need to know to understand him. He's 25. He's been in college for literally seven, seven years. <laughs> his undergraduate degree, he has not received. He is a, I think he's going to his eighth year it's right now. Eighth year senior. <laughs> he's an eighth year senior, which is just like, when he, when we first met, he told me he was in grad school, but actually he was in his like sixth year of college, which, okay, fine. You hear a fifth year senior. I don't want to judge, but like he was in his sixth year and then it turned into his seventh year. Now he's going to, into his eighth year. And also he's dating a 19 year old right now. Six year, I know it's legal, but like six year age gap, kind of sketchy, especially given his track record yeah. with people. And I mean, she is literally speaking a teenager. Yeah, that's gross. I mean, yeah. Like if they were both in their 30s, I'd be like, who cares? But yeah, yeah. but it's like, she went to prom last year. And now he's dating her, probably to take advantage of her. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so <laughs> stole a copy of a book we really need, and we want it back. Mm -hmm. So if you're important. ever seeing this, this is officially your warning. Your warning. <laughs> <laughs> this is giggling after every sentence. This is really not serving me. <laughs> Are you actually doing that? No, I'm not meaning to. You know I do that though. Yeah. Everyone knew that. You, it's not even just on camera. <laughs> I know. Sometimes. No, it's not. It's not just on camera. It's all the time. Mm -hmm. I have to consciously try not to do it yeah. now that I notice that I do it. Ha ha ha! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ugh. Like you, I feel like it's your people pleasing tendencies. I am a big people pleaser. Too much of a people pleaser. Yeah, I agree. Way too much of a people pleaser. You know who else is? Too much of a people pleaser. And <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. Another note on the white claw. It's like really like these burps are explosive. <laughs> I I don't even know what to say. Like I'll be talking and it's just like the pressure builds to an unbearable point and I it just slips out of my esophagus. How much do you have left? Kind of a lot. I have a lot left too. I think we're relatively We should good. probably stream on Twitch or something. Yeah, we could just try new we need a, Yeah, we need a Twitch setup though. Our roses don't work. No, like, like a tech setup. Oh, I, I just, yeah. She doesn't know how computers work. How I computers never learned work. how to type. I don't know how to type. <laughs> 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 they taught me how to type. They used to put boards over our hands in like fifth grade and make us type. Really? Yeah. They put speed skins on our like keyboards. So it was like a rubber skin that went over the top of each and every key. Wow, you can tell you grew up in the future. Yeah, she thinks that I'm a true millennial. I'm actually a zillennial. No, I don't think you're a true millennial. I think I'm a true you millennial. You are, but you, for a while I feel like you got really mad at me when I would say that you're like a true millennial and you're like, you think I'm old because I'm a true millennial. I mean, I see, I see how you are on the border. I understand that. Yeah, I don't fit in either one. Yeah, like, and I know that like I am pretty much in the middle of the millennial years. Well, no, I mean... I feel like I might be aging myself because like millennials start in uh -huh. 1980 and I mean I'm not going to say the year I was born but I was not born in the 80s. I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> you know I love to talk. Yeah. I could talk all the time. Like when I was a little kid I would scooter around the neighborhood and just talk to myself. Oh yeah, I love talking to myself. I still do it all the time. I don't know if you hear me. But I don't. Yeah, I mean, that's great. Cause like last night after I said goodnight, I went into my room and talked to myself for like half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that's like genuinely true. Wow. Yeah, so the paranoia <laughs> that comes with living in New York is pretty intense. I feel like we need to tell this story. I don't the cockroach. I feel like I feel like mom and dad can't see it though. Why? I'm not ready for them to see it. We can tell it. We can record this, but I don't necessarily want mom and dad to know. <laughs> okay. I don't want them to find out on a video. We lived in an apartment before this one that was roach infested. Even if we did all of our dishes immediately after eating, which we did. 
And even though we never left food out, we took our trash out like religiously. Basically, the roaches would come up from the apartment below us and just infest. And so every night there would be like a roach or two. When the pest killer was working, they would just like die belly up, like their arms crossed over. <laughs> their disgusting silken bodies but um anyway so we left there for an unrelated reason but it was really scary all the time because we were always like when's the next roach going to be here and will we have to kill it with our own two shoes should we tell the story of the night of a million roaches i, I feel like now's not the time okay and the point is so we came here and this the other is, point is I have a super intense fear of roaches that I didn't know I had. I feel like everyone is afraid of roaches. I mean, everyone's afraid of roaches, but I feel like there's everyone else's fear where they can like deal with them. And then there's my fear where like I can't <laughs> and it ruins my life. We moved to this apartment and it's a much better maintained building and the what is it? Is he a super or is yeah. he the landlord? I don't know. Whoever it is either. sends up Maybe like a, a pest control service just like free of charge for all the tenants and it keeps the building fairly fine and we've never had a problem before. But like I said, we left for three months and I opened the toilet and there was something floating in it that was not a roach. It was like mold, but the point is time passed. And, you know, we started using the apartment again, and sometimes you find weird stuff, like this stuff in the toilet. <laughs> I feel like you need to tell this part of the story. <laughs> this is such a bad thing. I'm still not <laughs> over it. So, I mean, like, our parents stayed with us for a few nights, and I was like, you know, I mean, one of my main fears in coming back after three months would be that, like, the floor would be littered with like dead roaches lying on their backs just all like that was my main fear and like I got into the apartment like fully like bracing myself to see that and then I came in and there was nothing I was like hey it's clean it's great it's good and then our parents stayed with us for like three nights or something and it was no still, issue and it was still fine I noticed nothing no roaches it was okay and then the the day that our parents left I opened one of our top kitchen cabinets, the one above the stove. This is not important to the story. You don't even know what our kitchen looks like. But I opened that one. But stay tuned for an apartment tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can see this like, mm. historical site. Yeah. Um, and I opened the cabinet. I, I removed a package of mint Milanos. And with the mint Milanos, a fucking dead roach. <laughs> fell first on me <laughs> and then onto the floor and then bounced off your chest <laughs> and I I froze I couldn't do anything and you were sitting on the couch at that point and we were both the, you were, I remember all, you know your words are like seared into my memory forever <laughs> I don't even remember what I said how did this happen <laughs> <laughs> and that was what was running through my mind too I couldn't figure it out <laughs> This apartment's clean. Mm -hmm. We don't keep food out, but we had accidentally left a bag of pita chips open <laughs> in that stupid cupboard during the three months that we were gone. And so as it was looking for something to eat, it probably found that bag of pita chips. I didn't even know that pita chips were something that roaches like. They eat everything. I know. They eat toilet paper and human <laughs> feces, apparently. Of course so. they do. Yeah. Of course they do. Yeah. And so, I mean, that was, that was the end of the story. I mean, I went and washed off my chestal area where it had possibly... Chestal? <laughs> possibly touched. My mortar and chestal. <laughs> and you were very kind, and you swept up the roach and put it in the trash, and then... More so than kind, I'm brave. Yeah, you were brave. Yeah. And you put it in the trash, and, and then it, it, you know, it lingered there in the trash for a couple of days until we took the trash out and then we took the trash out and on my way to take it out there was a, a rat going into the trash area so that's life in New York for you people <laughs> yeah I guess no but I like it here it's good I like rats I feel 
like, I mean, be that's exposed what, here. I know. Well, that's what we were saying Ugh. on the night of the roach was yeah. that it was exposure and like the universe only gives you what you can handle. Yes, yeah, so you're ready not, to move on from this thing. I'm still not sure because I still think about it all the time. And I I'm, feel like I like White Claw. I like it too. I feel like I could have it all the time. It's really good. But I just feel like I'm having a beverage mm -hmm. and it may or may not be hydrating, but it tastes like Propel. Propel fitness water. Yeah. What was that? Was that the ghost? What? I heard a, a thump. I hope it's not someone coming in through your window. <laughs> I know. No, I know. What? No, it's probably not. I mean, and if they were going to come in, like, we know where the knives are. Yeah. And they don't. I feel like we should get an axe just for the aesthetic. Should. And we could hang it above. No, we should get a hammer and sickle. But like, <laughs> yes! Like a, a comically large hammer and sickle, and we can hang them above the couch. Oh my god, we should. Or above the TV. I feel like, like, hammer and sickle above the TV is a nice commentary, somehow. I feel like it could be a good commentary all over the couch, but I feel like you like it above the TV I more. Think, I think that's funny. Because, I don't know, somehow TV is, like, associated with consumerism, and... So is the couch. <laughs> the couch is... <laughs> it's a place of rest. <laughs> You're not allowed to rest. No. It's all work from now on. That's what we're doing right now. We're working. Yeah, we're working. We're working for this job that doesn't pay we're us anything. We're staying hydrated. But... Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that was definitely the fridge. <laughs> but it was totally a ghost. Woo! So we have, I think we know that the ghost in our apartment, like we know the form it takes. It, it's like an overweight man. Yeah. We're, we're in not, a standard t-shirt. So we're going to use the politically correct version. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's fat. The fat man. He's fat. We, we call the ghost the fat man. The yeah. fat man. Yeah. Um, and he, yeah, and we know, I, I mean, I learned about him just recently because I had a dream yeah. where um, like our, our doorbell buzzed and I buzzed the person up thinking, oh, we're not expecting anyone, but maybe they're just trying to like get into another apartment in the building. And then in my dream, I... I like it had the door chained, but then I opened the door with the chain on, and then there was this hugely fat man standing there wearing a stained t-shirt, and he had like an incredibly vacant face. Can you do the face? There you go. That's the fat man's face. There we go. There we go. That's it. That's is it. it actually? That is actually it. That's what he looked like. Thanks. I should be an actor. And then it's like, I mean, that was the whole dream. It was just the fat man. It's such a cool dream. Arrived. He's here. And now he's here. Now he's here. He's been here probably since that day he arrived. Mm, that makes sense because yeah. ever since then weird stuff has been happening. There's the roach and there was the... I don't know what else has happened. The cat's been kind of weird lately. The cat's been weird. Oh, and there was that one night when my door was just like... Rattling. Rattling back and forth. I feel like, like that happens every night though. I've only noticed it that one time. Um, well, I guess maybe it only happens after you go to sleep. Ooh. 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 <laughs> spooked. The Batman is here. The butler is here. The physicist is here. <laughs> <laughs> I hate science. He's the worst. <laughs> she has a strong response to the physicist. I feel like Scarlett and I might be connected some way. I feel like I have a bean, like my face is shaped like a bean. Was it everyone's? No. Quintessential Polish woman. So, do you think we should be done? I'm like done with my white claw. Yeah, so we've had, you've had a whole white claw. I've not, but let's, should we turn it off? Need to no outro. Sometimes you just need some water to really <laughs> let loose. I you can't you can't be me. <laughs> I know I can't. I'm not you. I don't even know if I could. <laughs> it's well established that mm -hmm. I'm not you.
<laughs> you established that. <laughs> Sometimes you just need some water to let loose.